three, two, one. SMC College in the Quad with Cheyenne. Now, Cheyenne, what are we standing in front of? We're standing in front of the tree. It says, don't be it. It's a pun. It's a pun structure. Now, it's a little distracting. It takes a lot of space. But what fueled this concept? What fueled this idea? Well, the point of it was to actually get the attention of you know, people that walk, are walking by. But it is the social experiment of uh, explaining how you know you can be a dick, and then at the end of your you look you could say that, yeah, you could say, you could say that. <laughs> we're, you know, coming on relationships and being a dick, I mean, you're kind of just not, you know, you can't, you can't build connection with being a dick. So we have here, I've written on the news, we have loyalty, respect, friendship, love. And when you think about it, when a dick jizzes on something, it kind of ruins the whole purpose of it. So that's it. Well, if we're going in that direction, couldn't that also mean something good, something like a re like a release of tension of and and almost like a, a momentary feeling of happiness? Most definitely. I mean, we're not really here to trigger any sort of uh, specific <laughs> feeling. I mean, you can kind of take it. As, you know, I mean, if you take it that way, it's beautiful. And if we take it another way, you know, it's it's entirely up to the viewer. Does this project have to do with just? all facets of life and everything that causes pain and when you come across somebody whether it's your girlfriend your boyfriend your mom your dad your professor even is that is just a universal feeling of dude don't be a dick yes definitely you nailed it right, thank you very much Diane. eddie back to you center of the penis. I'm with Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine, from my understanding, this project is the public portrayal of don't be a dick, don't bring negativity into somebody's life, and don't do it in a, in a kind of destructive way. Now, what does this project mean to you? Not to put you on blast, but their project has nothing to do with our project at all. So this isn't a penis. That's a penis, but this isn't a penis. So, I'm just saying, you should know what you're talking about for you to people. Well, the person who took my ticket at the front of the line told me that this was a penis and that these balloons, in fact, were uh, babies. These so, are not babies, and this is not a penis, this is a hematorium. I apologize for not being fed the right information. So, Jasmine, could you tell me exactly where we are and what this project reflects? Well, um, originally we were going to build a lab, and as we were building it, we realized how comfortable we were and just expand inside of here. So instead we decided to make it like a dormitorium. Actually you can go all the way down the tunnel. It's like a tunnel. It's not a penis. It is not a penis. It is a tunnel. I see that tunnel. now. Yes. So this tunnel, is it is it more driven with the unknowing of the kind of creative mind? Is that kind of what this is? You're going into a blank slate? And you come out with ideas and creativity? Yeah, somewhat like that. It's connecting with your inner self, you know? And we're going to have music in here later on and more balloons. It's really cool. You should come back when you're finished and realize it's not a penis. Well, now that I see it more vividly, that it in fact is not a penis, the, what, what's the reason why you keep the outside world out of the habitat? Actually, there's no reason. It just ended up that way. If you, if you like, you can go back and see the rest of it. Let's go to the back. Eddie, Jasmine, after you. So I'm walking through the tunnel with Jasmine. She's been more than generous with the uh, sensitivity that is not a penis. But so, Jasmine, we're going towards the end, and I see that there's no exit. What does this part of the tunnel mean?
wise words, great concept. Thank you, Jasmine. Eddie, back to you. One of the biggest issues that the youth go through today is that we don't know anything about ourselves yet. The whole reason we go to school, the whole reason we kind of take our 20s into with an aggressive learning experience because we're trying to obtain experience. The reason for this project is because we're trying to realize what we are, what our capabilities are, so that we can maximize our life. There are a lot of people who go through this life who don't really risk anything. So with the creative, clever minds of the art project, they've given us kind of um, time to reflect on what we are now, take inventory, and where we can go in the future. Where we are in the tunnel is the end, kind of, in some ways, the beginning, because you never want to remain at the end. You want to keep moving forward and continue to evolve. So that's kind of what I've gotten from it, and you can take your take on it. Eddie, back to you.